Car Testamatis Cura notes that kids may need playgrounds, but their parents need the mobility to get them there. Car makers are well aware of that, and they design models especially for this target group. Seat's offering is the Toledo. Its small starting price and roominess make it attractive to families. He's going to find out if it can meet the expectations. With family or without, whether visiting the grandparents or hitting the road for a faraway holiday spot, the first thing is to get where you're going smoothly, comfortably, and above all, safely. Fine-tuned sports car performance is not what the Toledo was designed for but it still handles nimbly and responsively. Matis judges the Toledo's handling as suitable for family driving, in other words, quite neutral. He has no real complaints. He would have liked more than a five-speed transmission, but the car maker had to cut corners somewhere. Before you can chauffeur the kids all over town, you have to get them into the car. So Matas found a way to test how easy it is to get in and out of the Toledo. He says an important point for its family suitability is how well everyone fits into the car's interior. Families with very young children, for instance, might need to use an infant car seat. It can be secured here in the back using the seat belts. That was the belt option. But most new cars nowadays come with Easelfix anchor points built in. These little metal braces, which are generally well hidden, allow for the attachment of compatible seats, like this one. Diese hier. So, die muss man dann hier irgendwie reinkriegen. Other cars may be more easily accessible, and it may be a bit fiddly getting everything into this one, but once the latch clicks, it won't come loose again. And then you can just set the infant seat on top of that. It all looks relatively straightforward and simple. But if someone's riding in front who happens to be very big and has to push the seat all the way back, it can get rather tight. It's not quite as easy to get the baby seat in or out, but it's doable. Back on the road, we can concentrate on the engine. Its 77 kilowatts take the Toledo from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 10.4 seconds. The factory rates fuel consumption at a thrifty four liters of diesel per hundred kilometers. The Style for You equipment package, including a GPS system, special paint, and rims, pushes the price up to just over 24,000 euros in Germany. And the interior? Mata scratches the surface and hears hard plastic all around, but then a family man could see that as desirable. Children and messes of every imaginable kind go together, and plastic is easy to clean. The new Toledo presents itself as a family car. For that, it may look a bit aggressive and macho. The contours and the trunk don't quite fit the typical family car image. So can the Toledo make the cut as a true family car? As long as it carries the kids, it probably can. Matas realizes that it's not always about the kids alone. Sometimes they come with accessories that have to be stowed. Often the first advice parents hear when shopping for a new car is buy a station wagon. But the Seat Toledo spacious trunk has no problems taking a whole baby carriage and whatever groceries or other provisions might have to go on top. So parents aren't necessarily doomed to be station wagon drivers. 
Mata says with a base price of 14,000 euros, the Toledo is a good deal for a young family on a budget, but if you'd like a few extras, the smart seats, the smart sat nav, the smart stripes on the dash, you're going to have to pay more. The model he tested goes for over 23,000 euros, which is nearly half as much again. In the end, it's up to the car shopper to decide whether they need a station wagon or which options. But overall, Matas is impressed by what the Toledo has to offer a family.